How's it going, everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. Today's video is brought to you by Patriots Air Guns. That's Patriots with an S. I just discovered Patriots Air Guns. They got a great website, so there will be a link in the description if you want to go check it out. It's definitely the easiest place to order your Avanix. You just pop on there. They have all the models. A couple mouse clicks, and it's on the way to your door. So let's say I wanted a Avanix Cloud Ultra in 177, and I wanted it to be blue. Click, click. Check out through PayPal. Boom, it's on the way to my front door. This is one of a few videos that's going to be brought to you by Patriots Air Guns. Definitely shoot over there. Check out their website. Really good bunch of people over there. And definitely tell them that you saw them on Air Gun Channel. So this is the new Hunting Master AR-22. The Hunting Master AR-6 has been around for years. Let me just uh, read a little bit of the description on the AR-6. And the AR6K is available at a very affordable price. And you guys, there's always going to be a link in the description to whatever gun I'm reviewing. Because I do get a lot of comments saying, how much is this gun or where can I find it? Always look in the description. It says, the Avanix Hunting Master is purpose-built for game hunting. This PCP will help you clear the fields and forests of medium-sized game out to 75 yards and beyond. Depending on the weight of your pellet, you could get almost 60 foot-pounds of energy. Now, one thing about this gun is that it's lightweight. It's lightweight and accurate. So, definitely a great hunter. All right, now we're popping over to the 2022 offering of the Hunting Master AR-22. Now, the coolest thing about the AR guns is that they have a revolver-style action. So, the AR-6, the AR pistol, as well as the AR-22 that we're looking at today, you can shoot them either single or double action, just like your favorite cowboy gun. So I had no idea how cool this was until I got it in my hand, and boy, it is awesome. So I'm just talking about holding it and handling it. I haven't even sent any pellets down range at this point in the video, but I'm getting off track here. The new AR-22 is regulated. So it's got two gauges, one under the stock, and one at the end of the air tube. Super good looking gun. Here's some hardcore stats on the AR-22. By the way, I have the AR-6 and the AR pistol sitting here. So I'll be reviewing both of those. Today, as I said, we're checking out what's actually a brand new gun. The AR-22 regulated. And these are available at Patriots Air Guns. All right, what we're officially looking at is the Hunting Master AR-22. It comes in 177, 22, and 25 caliber. It's got the revolver action. It has a rifled, unchoked 650 millimeter barrel. Recommended ammo is 18 to 25.39 grain. Of course, it's an Avanix, so it's going to have plenty of power. It has an overall length of 1,050 millimeters, or this many inches. It has a 410cc carbon steel cylinder. Sweet. Barrel twist rate is 1 and 18. It's got a Weaver Picatinny rail. Two-stage adjustable trigger. The operating pressure is going to be between 230 and 80 bar. It's recommended for hunting. Maybe a little bit loud. We'll see. Manual safety, fixed power, so it's not adjustable power, but this thing's probably tuned to perfection to shoot, like it said, the 18 to 25 grains. We're about to find out. And single or double action, magazine-fed repeater. Super, super cool, you guys, I'm telling you. Weighs just 3.5 kilograms, and it has a regulator. All right, let's shoot this bad boy. In my testing, this has to be one of the most powerful guns I've seen lately. Check out this noise. So yeah, we're dealing with some major power, and the only ammo I could get under 1,000 feet per second were the 25.39 grain. So that's a ton of power. We're just going to do a little bit of accuracy testing in this video, and we're going to spend the rest of the time blowing stuff up. Because, boy, you hit something with this thing, it's going to explode. Before we get too far in this video, get a load of this regulator. So we'll check out more of that at the end of this video but I've never seen so many duplicate numbers so your magazine is going to have big holes and small holes okay so the small holes you're going to want to be going backwards so to load this you're going to take your pellets and put them in backwards right like that and you fill them up like that obviously you're going to have the uh, fronts going forward then you can only slide it in from the right side of the gun but there's uh, those little grooves right there so 
small holes back, large holes forward. You're just gonna slide that right in there. Give it a little bit of a spin to make sure you're in and you're all set. And it's gonna spin like that. All right, so this is double action. You can pull the trigger like this, or you can cock it and go like this. Ooh, it kicks back too. All right, so this gun, the magazine can only pop out when the hammer is not cocked back. So as soon as you cock the hammer back, let's just zoom in here. When I cock the hammer back, you got a little piece that comes up in there to rotate the magazine. When you fire, it goes back in. So that's why you need to have your hammer down before you put your magazine in and out. And also, always be sure to give your mag a little bit of a spin and click to the next one to make sure you're right in the right position. All right, we're all set up here. We got the 25.4 grain FX pellets and the 25.39 grain redesigns. We're at a very special. 35 yards away, nailed it. So right here is a perfect example of how you need to find the right pellet for the gun. So the JSB 25.39 grains, they wanted to shoot awesome. Damn it. But then every once in a while, you get a flyer. If you can even call that a flyer, but. All right, we got a flyer, so let's try that again. How about right about here? Pretty nice. We always get a flyer though. All right guys, let's try the 25.4 grains and see if we will be flyer free. I shot the rest of this video with the 25.4 grain FX and I didn't have a flyer the whole time. This gun is amazing when you put the 25.4 grain FX pellets in there. Probably gonna lose our bullseye if we do this, but we will try it. Drilling it. Look at that, you guys. Now let's do the rest in this guy right here. Yeah, I think the FX are what we want. Wow. Holy crap, that's awesome. All right, hopefully I'm not getting too low on my regulator. Let's uh, do one right here. That was me. Yeah, this gun kicks, so you gotta be on it if you're gonna drill it. <laughs> Amazing, I love it. Boy, I, I don't wanna stop shooting this thing. Dang, there's your official five shot group. Oh, that's sweet. FX 25.4 grain. Holy guacamole, you guys. That's five shots, three holes, about two and a half holes right there. Wow, I'm loving that. Here's a look at that double action trigger. You can also decock it very easily. When you cock the hammer, it's gonna pull the trigger back. 
and then you're gonna have about a seven ounce trigger pull to set that baby off. Really a sweet trigger. And here's the official trigger pull weight. We're gonna get to the 50 yard accuracy testing in just a second here. But real fast, here's some 50 yard carnage with the 25.4 grain FX pellets. Let me see if I'm hitting where I'm hitting. Still at 50 yards. See, we're good. That was our best one. All right, I should be able to shoot the uh, ball of this hat right here. <laughs> oh, that was so awesome. <laughs> Exploded. I was really hoping for more of an explosion on these bunnies, but maybe if I hit him just right in the top of the head. Oh, I was holding my hammer that time. Real quick, I'm gonna show you the 50 yard accuracy testing, and then we're gonna do some precision target shooting at 35 yards. See if we're set it in now. I'd say so. All right, now official group. Here we go. Freaking sweetness. Oh yeah, I didn't take the reading, but check this out. We're at a very special. Fifty yards, exactly. Man, I'm getting good at this. So right here is I think four shots at fifty yards under a dime. And then at thirty-five yards, I had five shots way under a dime. And that again is with the twenty-five point four grain FX pellets. And here's what you can do with that kind of precision and power at 35 yards. All right, back at 35 yards. See where we're hitting. Set it in at 50. One shot side in. I hope I better put the camera on these guys. All right, those guys did not want to focus very well, but got them closer together. Hopefully that'll work. All right. Check this out, that dude's head came clean off perfectly. And look at his half.
Now he's the invisible man. That was one handed shot right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dusted. <laughs> Darn it. She took the motorcycle with her. Blow this guy in half, blows handlebars off. <laughs> the sucker's gone. Put one right through the door, the VW bug. Oh yeah, baby. And see ya. When I went to do the shot string, I was using Crossman Premieres. And the gun was just so loud. I just didn't want to rattle off 50 shots. Thought it might disturb my neighbors. But here's a sample though of two magazines, which is 12 shots. It just gives you a glimpse of this phenomenal regulator. Wow, that's uh, one of the most amazing regulators that I've ever seen. So this thing's way too freaking loud to keep going, but uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Different pellet speeds, breaking the sound barrier with the 14 grains, around 1,050 with your 15.89 grains, and then just under 1,000 feet per second on the 18 grains. So they're probably going to shoot pretty good, although I did not test them. All right, the last little bit of information for you. It comes with two magazines. The magazines are going to hold six rounds each. And the recoil pad is adjustable, so you can get it just right for your bench rest shooting. By the way, this has been one of the coolest guns to shoot from the bench rest. And that's because of all the guns I've tried in the history of the Air Gun Channel, this is the easiest gun to cock. All you got to do is reach your thumb up, cock that hammer back, and take the next shot. It's literally the quickest way to cock an air gun that has come along yet. So, I love it. And just dropping that hammer with such power and accuracy, it is a blast. This is for sure one of my favorite guns I've ever reviewed. It's definitely something special. The last thing is if you happen to get a jam, for some reason, maybe the cylinder's not in there just right, or you get a pellet stuck halfway into the barrel, you just put the gun on its side, and you can tap that magazine out. Sometimes you can even push it out with your finger, but... The soft lead pellet is always just going to shear right off with no damage to the gun at all. So that's the proper way to get your magazine out if you have a jam. And then just discard the shaved pellet and you're back in business. Alright you guys, that's it for me on this one. I want to thank Avanix for sending this gun out. And by the way, excellent job on one of the first regulated Avanix. Be sure and go check out Patriots Air Guns when you're ready to order your next Avanix rifle. Until next week. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.